What's going on YouTube? How's it going? CHE Arctic Wolf here with my buddy Dacon Black Rose. And I know a lot of you have talked about this in the past. I've been waiting for it. Today is going to be the official start of our rival series on the Pokemon Bet Poke World server. So he's already got his starter. I got my starter. He chose Pikachu. I chose Eevee. And again, this is going to be the start of our adventure to see who can become the very best first. So Daycon's got it. Like I said, he's here. You can go ahead, Daycon, say what's up. What's up? Good to you, buddy. Oh, uh, here we go. We're already starting on this. So like I said, we both got our starters, so we're going to head out. We're going to start catching some Pokemon, building up our teams, and just having a blast with it. Uh, we both took advantage of the bonus crate uh, to start out. Now, one thing I do want to let you guys know on my end, I made a secondary account that I'll be using specifically for this playthrough. It will have no bearing on my playthrough, that my singles playthrough that I've been doing already up to this point on my Let's Play. So, yeah, I, I don't have op on this account at all, so it's just going to be, you know, me and him starting from scratch and just fair game. So, let's head out, Daycon. Let's see if we can get the first Pokemon first. I'm on my way out. You can't win. <laughs> Victory's mine. <laughs> Nah, 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 you, you, we gotta see if you get the, let's see if you get to a team of six first. Well, Mewtwo and Mew I'm currently still working on. So they're, 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 their quests are a bit finicky. So I gotta work on. Ah, I ran away. I almost had a second Eevee there. That would have been... That would have been epic if I would have gotten a second Eevee. I'm gonna get the seconds. I'm gonna get the seconds. Give me the seconds. I'm gonna take your wild Eevee and train it to be better than you, so that way I can kill your Eevee every time we battle. Nah, it's not gonna be better. I hate to tell you, it's not gonna be better. It will be. Nah, I don't think it will. I, I just think mine will always be superior. I mean, if you, if you look at statistically, even e Jolteon is better statistically than Raichu. So one of the things that definitely, uh, like how you're seeing right now, you're going to just go up to them and click on them to try and catch them. I am currently in the works of changing that as well. Like, and actually adding in, you know, a full-on uh, battle UI and stuff like that where you'll go to a separate place uh, and you'll be able to attempt to catch a battle and, and things like that. I got that. I got an Ekans. So I got Eevee and Ekans. My my snake is is gonna eat you. My snake is gonna eat your rat. <laughs> Come on. See now, now now here's here's the thing. You're in trouble. I just got Ditto. <laughs> I didn't rig anything. I am not rigged whatsoever. Does he, does he have transformation? Yes, he has transform. Yes. He actually has the transform ability. It took a little bit to get it programmed properly, but it actually has it. I just got that Metapod. So I my team is already Eevee, Ekans, Ditto, Bellsprout, and Metapod. <laughs> do they, do they, uh, whenever they level up, do they evolve on their own from, from them? Or no? So the way that the level, like, the, right now, currently, the way the leveling is, is you'll feed them the berries in battles and stuff, and they'll level up. If you get them to, if you level them up to the point where they'll evolve, then they'll, then they'll be at that new level, uh, of what they evolve. So, like, say, you take your Pidgey, and you get it to level 16, and then you hit one more to take it to 17, then when it evolves, it'll be at that level. And when you summon Pidgeotto back in, it'll be at the... It's it's a bit complicated, a little bit, but right now, basically, whatever the level is that says on the spawn egg, the spawn item is what it'll summon in at every point. With the new battle that I'm currently working on, that will change. Um, I just gotta, I gotta figure out all the XP... Uh, differences and things like that. It is there, There's a lot to it to get it to be uh, 
um, very similar to what the actual games were with like individual XP levels. It, it, there's quite a bit to it, but I am making strides in figuring out how I can make it just like the game. That's, that's where the battle UI uh, is the first step in that direction. Uh, I removed the actual items, like the when you how we battled before. If you remember, you took the move out of its inventory and to click it and stuff like that. That's completely gone now. It's now a singular menu that has the moves listed there. So it, it's definitely uh, going in the right direction, as far as that's concerned. Um, yeah, we're going the right. No, we're going the right way. I'm gonna just beat up this Pidgey. <laughs> My Pidgey. <laughs> so yeah, so there's been tweaks, there's been modifications, and I'm constantly trying to improve it, you know, different things. I wound up actually just recently, last night, uh, redoing the XP gains on the wild Pokemon. So I've act I actually altered them and dropped them a little bit. Because it seemed like... Uh, people were leveling up way too fast and the levels come are for the gyms so you, whatever your player level is so let's right now the way it's programmed is gym one your per, your physical player needs to have 10 levels of xp in order to challenge that first gym um same thing with with the second gym is 20 levels of xp so on and so forth i'm gonna be up this jigglypuff i'm gonna be up this bloom i'm gonna be it up crit hit pop pop Three crit hits. I love I love critting them. It, it's it's so beautiful just to see those uh, sparkles come above their head and you know just just ending their miserable life. Now I think if you actually kill Jigglypuff, would it pop or would it just deflate? Roger. I said if you were actually you know to you know put a hole in Jigglypuff, would it just deflate or would it like wind up flying around like one of those you know a balloon like whizzing back and forth? Oh yeah, your daughter loves Jigglypuff if I remember correctly. Yeah. I like Jigglypuff. I Jigglypuff way better though. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Got it. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. So but you're gonna want to pay attention to me. You you're gonna want to follow me unless you want to get lost in the cave. <laughs> Now here's the question: Do you want to try and build up a Pika army? That's my G bat. Go back. So if you want to get a Pikachu, yeah, if you want to get some more Pikachu's, the the way to go over and get more Pikachu is down this way, and we'll go to that. I just got that. I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna get this sand shrew. I want to get to the first gym in the end battle. All right. Well, out if we go around this way. And you go out this exit here. This will take you directly to the uh, the power plant where you get more electric type Pokemon. So if you go into the power plant, so let me drop some food, so I'll take that. So if you go out to the power plant, you can get more electric type Pokemon. But you have a ch and... yeah, and then there you go. Yeah, we might as well get the Pokey stuff. Might as well get the Pokey stuff. Well, you can only click the stop. So that's another, that's one thing that changed since you were last here. The Pokestops are now time-based. So when you click on one, you can't click on another one for another five minutes. Oh, okay, okay. Cool, cool. Uh, now I got my Pokestop. Nice. So I'm sitting at Eevee, Ekans, Ditto, Bellsprout, Metapod, Abra, Sandshrew, Diglett, Meowth, Rattata, and Caterpie. I got Pokemon. I see. Bro, you went right past this Electabuzz here. And it just ran away. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Be still. Oh. It ran away. It, it, I tried to catch it and it ran away. I hear something spawn. Uh, no. Dang it, that one ran away. <laughs> it ran away. Ooh, I want this. Oh, you prick! <laughs> I didn't get it anyway. It ran away. That's so wrong. It, it, it's pretty high level. 
Yeah, so the evolved forms will... Sp oh, here's another like the buzz. Gimme, 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 gimme. Dang it. it! It ran away. So, evolved forms spawn in at what they evolve at. So, whatever it would normal. So, like, Weezing and Muff, that's why they're at such high levels, because that's what level they evolve. And that's what level they'll spawn in at. Yeah, so every Pokemon has a different variable as far as uh, how effective it's going to be. And it's actually based off of in-game mechanics. So, like, I actually went onto a website and looked up all the statistics for each ball. Um, and that's what I based the rates on. Hey, even though I don't want it, look what I just got. I'm going to throw it in the trash. I'm gonna throw it in the trash. You could you couldn't ask for a better Pokemon. Now the one thing that the com the misconception that some people have had and I've had to uh, correct them on it is uh it, dealing damage to the Pokemon does not actually increase the uh attacking it. Correct. Yeah, there there's current there's really no way to program that easily. Um, at some point, probably within the next week or so, I'm going to start filling in the power plant here, uh, with just different designs, stuff like that. Uh, just, you know, aesthetically in Okay, so there's a Pokemon that apparently I keep getting a notification for, but it's not popping up. So I think there might be one that has a broken, uh, texture or something, or a broken file. So... Yeah, so I can't come out that way while you're out there. So, so that shrine there is for Zapdos. So when you obtain the uh, the electric orb, you will have to put in your offhand slot and then catch 150 Pokemon. After doing so, you'll be able to turn it into a charge version. And then you'll bring the charge version back here to the shrine and activate the shrine and Zapdos will be summoned. I like your hat. Walk over to that iron there and it'll... Yep, there you go. I'll be right over. I'm gonna, I'm gonna beat up this Voltorb. All right, let me know. Level one. I think it went to level one. It's not level one now. Can you? Imagine if you could actually like just infinitely increase a Pokemon's uh, level. Like that would be absolutely insane. So now we're out of the power plant. Come on out. You can, you can just hop over. Maybe I wanted to catch more Pokemon. Well, we will catch more Pokemon. I can't kill this Spearow because it's too close to the Pokestop. Yeah, so if you're in within a certain... Yeah, nothing can be killed within a certain range. So we'll go back into the cave and we'll head out. And we'll head to the first city. Oh, you're gonna... They're in the Safari Zone, so follow me. Yeah, this pincer is in the safari zone along with a handful of other Pokemon. Pretty good ones. Yeah, you got pincer in there. You got Scyther. You got uh, Kangaskhan. Uh, Rhyhorn. Rhydon. Now, bear with me. I got to remember myself. So I think, it, yeah, it was this way. So we got to go this way. And then loop around. I want the Geodude. I want Geodude. Got it. You're probably looking at a grappler. Yeah. Yeah, it sounded like it was me. And I was like, I don't think it was going where I think it was going. Yeah, so final, a lot of final evolutions don't spawn. Um, I have them set, kept behind, you know, actual evolutions and things like that. So you just hop over that. Yeah, a lot of people tend to have uh, trouble with this cave. It's it's a bit it's a bit long, but you know, it's it. You'll eventually get there. I mean, I've I've gone through it several times, so I, I've. Diggly, diggly, diggly. 
So we're just going to loop around. A lot of people make the conception and go up that ladder that's right there. That takes you to the roof. You don't want to go up that one. You just loop your way around. Yeah, yes, it's happened so many times. They'll like go up there like, how do I get out of the cave? I'm stuck on the roof. So, but yeah, you come around and then you'll take this ladder down. And then, how much XP? How much XP are you currently at? Okay. So yeah. So you'll need a total of seven more levels then to uh, take on the gym. Yeah. 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 That's that. That was my way of you know creating a like grind and stuff like that. Because if they could just catch them and go in, it really doesn't. It doesn't give that much of a grind aspect to it. It just it. There, there's no real challenge then. I, they kind of still would be because you still have to grind to take a day. Yeah. I feel it would be far less of a grind if they didn't have to earn the XP. Like I've, I've seen, and like the re that was a big part of the reason of the XP changed on all the wild Pokemon because I was hearing of people like there's your grappler. Like I was hearing of people beating all the gyms within like three hours really like three four hours they beat every all eight they got enough xp to hit level 80 and then beat every single gym in like three hours wow so that that was big part of the reason of the xp changes it, it just people were breezing through it way too fast and being that i only have 10 prestiges uh, that they could go through. I mean, the gym challenge will get harder, but the XP didn't really get harder to obtain. So it, you know, it made me go through and uh, redo all that. So what we got to make sure you do is that way you can fast travel here. Is just go inside. You got to go inside the Pokemon Center, and just entering the Pokemon Center will allow you to gain access to fast travel to this city. Yeah. So I need to hear my Pokemon now. Just to feel proud. Yeah. Hear my Pokemon. So now that we've gone here, what well, we can we can actually go and get you a plot. So we're gonna actually we can head back to the spawn for that and then we can come back here. So get your map out and then you're just gonna click to where it highlights spawn and then you're gonna crouch. I mean, you're going to run out of inventory space. That's what I'm saying. So go back to spawn, where it, have it highlight spawn, and then just crouch. Okay, so now we got the first building that we went out. You got to go talk to the, the lady behind the counter. Oh, okay. And, I'm looking like crazy anyway. Yeah, so what, we'll, what you do is you come in, you talk to this lady here, and you could purchase a plot. So you go down there, you'll press the button to buy the plot, and it'll take you to your plot. Yay. So I'm going to buy one as well. So we're going to Ilya. Yep. So that's one of the nice things. So I give everybody quite a bit of items. You get a full set of iron armor, uh, iron tools, some chests, some building materials. And if you want to buy more building materials, the person that's next to the plot, that the property manager, he sells crates of items. So you'll just highlight Spawn or Rock Forge City, and it'll teleport you. Okay, I gotta open up all of these. Cause they see you. Go ahead. Yeah. Let's go do that. Yeah, I'm just placing down a few chests right now on my plot. You know, just make making it, making it look nice and pretty. You know. Yeah, so the, the Mega Stone Ticket, that will be useful when, when we hit, uh, when we get to Crowvine City, you'll be able to buy a Mega Stone for a Pokemon that can Mega Evolve. Ooh, okay. So the Master Ball then. Yeah, so the Master Ball. So I'm going to head back to spawn. You got some people 
fighting here. Got a... We got a Pinsir versus an Articuno going on in the PvP arena. What? Yeah. I think the Pinsir's just about to get owned, so you might want to hurry it up. <laughs> yeah, the, the Pinsir's just about dead. Yep, Pinsir just died. Yeah, so the eggs go in your offhand slot, and as you walk, you'll see the steps count up for that. So 10k is 5,000 steps, 5k is 2,500 steps, 2k is 1,000. What kind of, uh... What kind of, um... Pokemon do you get from it? Yeah, what kind of Pokemon do I get? So, with the, with the eggs, I am going to be following uh, Pokemon Go. As far as their egg, uh, egg chart. So right now it's based. It's just Gen One. So how, whatever Gen One, uh, the egg chart was for just Gen One. I don't remember it off the top of my head, but like a lot of your basic stuff is in like the two Ks, like your Pidgey, your Rattata, stuff like that. Um, then when you get into the higher ones, you know, you you get rarer ones. Uh, like in 10k, you'll get like Pinsir, you'll get Scyther, you'll get Hitmonchan, Hitmonlee, uh, Lapras, Kabuto, Omanyte, Snorlax, stuff like that. Hey, you be go going You're going to town on those crates. <laughs> I am. I'm gonna bring them all back. <laughs> Brought the Pokemon. <laughs> Yeah, so I know a bunch of people are probably definitely excited, are going to be definitely excited to see this and see uh, how far we can go with this. Um, we're definitely going to have to sit down and figure out uh, upload times and stuff like that because with with our schedules, it makes things a bit difficult, you know, trying to finagle uh, time frames. But hopefully, we can try and get on some kind of. Uh, Because they've, they've been playing for a while. It's been open for three weeks. Wow. I have an Articuno and a Zapdos on my main account. Really? Yeah. So you got to do like a mission or something to get them? Yeah, that's what the orbs are. <laughs> one. Yep. Yeah, I think he got a crit on that last hit there. Yeah, so we can go we can go exploring. So what we can do is take one of your eggs and just put it in your offhand and you'll start and you, then you'll see a new thing show up at the bottom of your screen. I already have a thousand steps on my shit my egg. Or ten thousand's a long time. Yeah. I'm gonna go to yeah. I'm gonna go back to Second City. Yeah, so you're gonna click and go to Rock Forge and then you'll just crouch. So that takes you there. Jeez, how many times do I gotta have to change this weather? Well, you should have put stuff in... Did you put stuff in your chest? Yeah, I don't want to talk about that. Don't talk about it. Ah, let me get the cell pad. Cell pad. Let me get the cell pad. S cell pad sells your nuggets. Yeah. That's fine. I'm selling them all. No, just be careful. You might need more at some point. I'm a, I'll dig out. I'm going to buy some more Ultra Balls. I'm going to buy some Pokeballs. I'll dig your binders out. And then... Where'd you go, Daycon? We're going to the Onyx shop. Here, come here. Come here. Come here. I'm, gonna give, I'm gonna give you a present. Got a present for you. He's a fishy rod. Fishy rod. You can go fishing on anywhere that you can access the water, and you will be able. I'll give you. Uh, I'll give you five hay bales. Now, one thing I want to tell you though, you we're gonna want to get is inside here. You're gonna want to talk to the person that has like a rare candy on their chest. And they have the HM Surf that'll give you a rideable Lapras that'll allow you to go across the water. So once you get enough nuggets, you can come in and buy one uh, off of them. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Oh, I'll take Lapras. Okay. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, well. Okay. 
Yeah, so, so just keep that in mind. So we can head. So what we can do, what I've seen a lot of people do, is they'll explore and they'll go around the different parts of the map, and then you know to be able because you actually you have to travel to each city to unlock it, the fast travel. So a lot of people, what they'll do is they'll travel around, unlock all the cities, you know, level up as they go, and then go back and, you know, fight the gyms and stuff like that. That way they have all the areas unlocked, and then all they need to do is just focus on battling, and they're good to go. They're all talking to my main, and it's not answering. <laughs> they don't. They don't realize that I'm on, on another account. I got. I got the berries though. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep an eye on your egg, cause when it hatches, it'll clear it from your inventory and put the Pokemon right into your inventory. Well, no, the 10k is only 5,000 steps. Oh, okay. It isn't in there. Now, 10, 10 kilom it's 10 kilometers, which if you actually subtract it, it's half that in, in uh, American uh, steps. Okay. Yeah. I thought you were just going to go with that full set because I didn't know how you were going to do it. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, it's, it's half of that. Yeah, so 10 kilometers is 5,000 steps. Yeah, I'm at 18, just hit 1900. So we'll work our way around. Yeah, like I said, these caves can be a little bit confusing at times, but once you get the hang of it, oh, you're going to get yourself that Doug Trio? Okay, so Daycon, this is what I need to show you. Don't break it yet. So this right here, once you take care of that Doug Trio, well, All right, so this you'll see these pop up around the map as you walk with your steps. So when you go to punch it, you'll get a random reward from it. So go ahead and punch it. You just got some tame tools. So, so as you're walking, you, like that's one thing you got to pay attention on the top of your screen. It'll say a poke. You found a pokeball. Inside those pokeballs is where you'll find the orbs for Zapdos, Moltres, and Articuno. So you got to keep your eye open for those. So you can make sure you pick them up because they do they are very valuable. Oh yeah. So definitely keep your eye definitely gotta keep your eye on them. So they, they count in with your steps. So that when you get hit a hundred, you have a chance of either a Pokemon spawning, a Pokeball sp spawning, or nothing happening. So you just gotta keep your eyes open for that. A lot of people what they'll do is they'll actually grind the uh Pokemon Tower that's between uh, the second and third city because that has only uh, Ghastly, Haunters, and the Pokeballs that spawn, so they do tend to be a bit more frequent there just because there's less to choose from. Every, everywhere else there's a lot more Pokemon that, you know, can spawn as far as a variable so the chances of finding them become less so oh, yeah. I got you. and what yeah. Yeah. I'm about 900 away getting close yeah make sure you keep an eye on what you get because like I said the egg will just disappear Whoop, we went around the wrong way wait did I I, I goofed I actually goofed I'm, on the... I don't even know where you went. I'm, I'm around this side I went the wrong way Well, I just gotta double check because I think I we might just have to make yeah make a loop, go over. I can't remember if it was. The, yeah, this way. Okay, yeah. So it, the other way takes you the opposite. So we gotta go over this one. Oh, okay, okay. And then now we're outside of the actual second city. So you got spawn. So Rock Forge is the first city with the first gym. This one is the second city with the second gym. Um, the third is a... So the first gym is a gr like a rock ground type. Uh, the second is a grass type. Third is electric. Fourth is psychic. Fifth is bug. Sixth is flying. Seventh is water. And eighth is fire. Oh, okay, okay. 
Um, right here. Yep, you want to be able to fast travel. Like I said, all you really got to do is just walk inside and then it triggers it. And then you also get some of your hunger healed as well. So your egg should be close to hatching. I don't why I don't know why this controls don't work. Let's see if this door is open enough. Oh, it is. So hope it's open. No, it's not quite open. I got lucky. Yeah, so my egg is about six hundred steps away from hatching. Oh yeah? Oh, my five K, I'm just about there. So I'm just running around right now. Getting those steps in. Hopefully it's something good. I'll be happy. I hope if it's like a Lapras or a Snorlax or something like that, I will be extremely happy. Look at, look at, look at. Look at the fucking people out from our bedroom. I'm gonna eat this. Yeah, come on, what's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? I got a Kabuto! Really? Nice. Level one. Okay. Well, yeah, that's because that's how anyone that doesn't any first stage or evolution like non-evolving Pokemon is. It's at level one. Um, I know. I will. I will. Yeah, she got a, she got a ring, honey. Yeah. What is with the? I I really don't like the fact that it just it's constantly raining. Oh, like. I'll turn it off with my main account, but yeah, it'll come right back on it. So, my daughter just came home, so she came in to just give me a hug. <laughs> Alright, so this guy is the berry trader. So you'll be able to take a lot of your level 1 berries and swap them with him. Oh, yeah. You'll be able to talk to him and swap your level ones for higher up ones like level tens and things like that. I want to stand to make uh, evolving and leveling up easier. So. Oh yeah, let's go for the the twenty five here. Oh, this is a little iffy. I just caught a Pidgeotto. And you could also buy them. So it gives you the option to buy and it gives you the option to trade. So. I have a level 50 and a level 25 berry. Nice. So, you'll be, so if you were to use a Jinx in battle, you can use either of those on it. Um, nice. I got it. I caught it. Yeah. So. Which which one you want to try? What one of the ones that evolved? Now remember the levels reset. The le yeah, I haven't been able. To, that's the way. That's why the berries are so frequent, is because of the the levels uh, resetting. Because if I were to try and save the levels currently, it'd be by the time everything's all said and done, you'd be looking at over eight hundred scoreboards for each level to save because it's not there's no actual place where your pokemon goes so it's a constant new entity every time so it doesn't when you return it 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 kills it and brings out a fresh one when they, when they, uh, do they are they level one when they evolve now so they'll be so like i said per, let's use uh pidgey for example like i was saying before okay. so you pidgey will go from level one to level 17. And then when it's level 17 and you use a berry on it, it'll turn into a Pidgeotto. And Pidgeotto will start out at level 18. And that's why if you look at, like, your when you, like Kadabra, you look at the Kadabra, it says summon a level 16 Kadabra. So it'll summon at that level. So the Pokemon only level up to where they evolve. They don't actually go from 0 to 100. Well, 50, depending on, I some Pokemon will take, like, a, 
Like, if I were to use, like, a level 25 on a Pidgey, I'm pretty sure I have it set where uh, it will turn into a Pidge level 25 Pidgeotto. Some Pokemon, I have it set where it'll go up to it, like, will evolve. But if you were to use, like, a level 50 on a Pidgey, it wouldn't do anything. So, yeah. So that... Right, where did you go? Did you go up in the tower, or...? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, there's multiple floors to this, so you can wind up exploring anywhere in this, but yeah, this is where this is where a lot of people do their grinding, because like I said, it's only Ghastly and Haunter that spawn here, along with the Pokeball, so you have a much higher chance of getting uh, the Pokeball, and what, and there's you can buy an incense, so we'll, uh, we'll go get you one of those, and you can see how uh, those are. So not only is this a Let's Play, but it's also a... Think of this as your own personal tutorial, you know, lesson. You know. Yeah. So we'll head out. Yeah. Teach your own, you know. So come on out. Come on out and we'll go get you an incense. We're gonna go get you... We're gonna go buy an incense that you can use. Yep, this is uh, Strathmore City, the third city. And then I'll wait up for you. Alright, well, <laughs> well, just keep it on. You'll you'll know when you can spin it again because the message will pop up on your chat telling you that you can spin the stop again. So you got the Pokemon Center here, so make sure you go inside. Like I said, that's the big thing, is you always want to make sure you go inside. Well, this, it's the same as the one in Spawn. Alright, so now, now what we'll do is we'll go get an incense. So I'm just going to move things around here. So we'll go inside here and we'll talk to the person that has the rare candy looking thing on their chest, which is this one here. So you'll see the one item, it looks like a little pot, yep, with a... Well, no, so you'll actually click it. And it'll tell you more Pokemon will spawn for you for the next 30 minutes. So when we go back out on the route, you're going to see that your steps are actually going to go faster. Yeah, you can click it now. So it, it starts the timer from whenever you click it. So even this time that we're walking, it still counts the time. But it's 30 minutes of it. That's cool, because my steps actually line up faster for the rate of growth. So we'll come out, and like I said, you'll notice your steps, how quickly they go as soon as you step onto the route. Oh, wow. Are we going back in here? Yep, so... Well, this is the tower that I was telling you about, the, the, the Pokemon tower. This is where people will grind Pokemon, and because it you have a much higher chance of getting Pokemon to spawn um, in here because it's only, like I said, the Ghastly, the Haunter, and then the Pokeballs. So it's a good way to gain XP as well as gain loot, you know, the, the berries and the nuggets and stuff like that because only so little Pokemon spawn, so you have more chances of Pokemon than you do of... Uh, just having it run away. And plus, like I said, the, the more... See, like, I just found a Pokeball. Just found my Pokeball, that's so weird. And I just got some tame tools from it. That's the, so that's the biggest thing here, is the Pokeball... You have a much higher chance of getting the Pokeballs in the tower than anywhere else. Because other places have, like, 10 to 12 Pokemon it's got to randomize through on top of the Pokeball. Here, it's got two Pokemon that's got to randomize through. But like I said, it's definitely a, a worthwhile grind spot. So, we'll, we each get to level 10, and then we'll go take on the gym. Yeah, that's what I was trying to go for, is hurry up and get to level 10. Yeah, so the incense will definitely help with that. It, 
it helps gain the XP. If we had a double XP event right now, it'd be even better. I should have bought an iron sword, but I didn't think of it. I got a, I got a iron sword. Let me get up to uh, steel though, because now I'm at rock break and I have to use this one. <laughs> I have netherite sword actually. I was gonna say, why are you using that? Yeah, I remember you saying you got that. So I'm surprised you haven't been hacking, and slashing through them with that. Is it killing faster? Yeah, they're they're all yeah they they're the the vanilla sword, so they have their increased da you know damage output. Um, I I am gonna be working on making new ones um, for the donators, special ones for the don. I mean, depend if it's an evolution. So evolved Pokemon actually have more HP than uh, pre evolutions. So if you're killing like a Haunter, it's going to take more hits because it actually has higher health. Yeah, Gastly. I'm not a. Oof. How I actually how ironic is that we're in the Pokemon Tower and you get a Gastly. And then we can trade. So I think I actually have... Yeah, I have a Haunter. So we can both get Gengars right now if we wanted to. Alright, let's do it. Before, before we get... When we get to level 20. Yeah. Yeah, so the... That would be cool. Yeah, so the trading... And it'll become a... It'll automatically become a level 40 Gengar. Oh. Uh, that's a sneaky way to hurry up and level up, too. Well, that's only with the trading ones. So, like, Graveler, Machamp... I mean, like, Golem, Machamp... Alakazam and Gengar, those are the only ones that really do that. All the others would be their level, but the traded ones are higher. They they fall. I have all three of those. Yeah, so you could actually technically trade all of them to me, and I can just hand them right back to you, and you'd have all their final evolutions. Yeah, so you could wind up with a pretty powerhouse team in such a short amount of time. Yeah. Now, what I recommend doing is don't jump while running, because it actually won't uh, count the steps. I'm, I'm right at steps. Yeah. And then it just makes you hunger because I'm passing. Yeah. So I think I, I have, I think, I don't know, I don't think I have a Machoke yet. I have to, I'll have to check. I don't think I do. I think I just have Haunter. But it's okay. You know, I'll, I'll eventually get Yeah, so you can get, the, the items that you can get from the Pokeballs are, oh, my, my, Sword just broke. I'm gonna go to my plot real quick and I'm gonna grab my iron one before I go and buy one. So I'll be, I'm gonna just go to my plot. Do, 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 do. I'm almost there with my. Well, I have Kadabra, so I can get, I can theoretically, well, I could even evolve the uh, Geodude. So yeah, so I could get three of them right off the get go myself. Alright, so I'm going to come back. I've got my Iron Sword. I'm halfway to level 9, so. I'm, I'm uh, a quarter way. I'm almost to level 9. I'm not even at level 9 yet. Yeah, I think the XP definitely seems like it's better than what it was. It definitely seems like it takes quite a bit longer to level up, which is good. Um, which is what I wanted um, in the first place. So I'm going to hit up this Pokestop because I think I'm pretty much able to now. But I got more steak. I just saw my the steak increase. Yeah, that's another thing. Food is just, like, ridiculous. Yeah, I remember the first build uh, when you made it in early stages that food was, like, $2 before you got more food. Yeah, things have definitely ch changed drastically. Um, like I said just gotten better overall. Like I said, the fact that, you know, it's, it's gone from items. Um, it's gone from, you know, the, oh, take the item out of its inventory, click it to use the battle move to just click, you know, a UI that resembles um, that of the games. You know, it was a huge improvement and just, it, it eliminated the uh, issues that were uh, cause from, you know, people just putting the Pokemon into the inventory 
and then be like, oh, I put my Pokemon in, and now it's gone. Because the system automatically, you know, replaced the items in the inventory. So it, it's definitely, it's definitely made things a lot better. Like, I, I actually just watched a guy open up a Pokeball, and it gave him uh, the level 50, uh, level 10 berries. And it's like I said, the, the Pokeballs are a lot more common. That's what I love about this tower. I'll spend some time here on my grinding streams for my singles play. Uh, yeah, Elmo, are you open my game emblem, I think? Since I'm the necklace? Yeah. Yeah, anywhere else. Uh, every, every 12 Pokemon once, Tom. Yeah. And like I said, the incense really helps in that regards because it you're getting them tw get, you're getting a response twice as fast. Mm -hmm. See, I just found a Pokeball. And I got some potions from it. And that's another thing as well. Uh, just recently, uh, I wound up updating the potions that they now are turn-based. Uh, before, it, they just were feed items where you could just feed them. And the issue that wound up coming out of that is people could just rapidly spam heal their Pokemon in a fight. So I programmed, that, programmed them where they now take a turn uh, to... So that you actually, when you click it, um, it'll use up your turn and then move to the other person's turn. I need one more Pokemon. Yeah, I'm just about there to level 10 myself. I'm right there myself as well. Come on, give me something. Yeah. I'm um, just right about there. So we'll go to Rock Forge and we'll trade first. So we'll we'll get our, our trade evolutions I'm taken care of. Turn, uh, ten, eh? So head into the Pokemon Center and then I will be right there. Right, so we're gonna go to Rock Forge. Well no, actually, that's down here, dude. Yeah, that that's yeah, the, every every city Well yeah, well because I if you remember the old way it was a singular room, but now every single place has their own trade and PvP arena. They're not all conjoined together. So, so give me one sec. Let me actually level up my Geodude. I gotta level him up so he turns into a Graveler. So let me pop him in here quick. Grab my Tame tools. Hey, where are we going? This is the PvP arena. I'm I'm leveling up my Geodude to evolve it into a Graveler. So. All right, that's a bad idea. Yeah, let me just level up. Yeah, so I'm I'm gonna just I'm gonna turn him into a Graveler. So I just gotta level him up. So you'll just click him. Well, I gotta, I gotta, I wanna level him up, so he, he evolves. I gotta, I gotta dump the berries. I don't have any level ten berries, or this would have been a lot quicker. <laughs> so I gotta do singulars. All right, he evolved into Graveler. So. Yeah. So if you want to attack, so go ahead. So you can see the menu yourself. So click on tame your Jinx. Use a tame tool on your Jinx. All right, so now when you click on it, you see now it's got the the buttons there instead of the actual item. So when you click the move, yep. Yeah, so I click, and I miss. So now it's your turn. So go ahead and click the Pokemon again to do your attack. Click. There you go. Yeah, so it's still the same kind of premise of the old one. You got to gather up the power points to be able to use uh, the move. Yes. Well, you got to remember my 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 dude's level twenties, you know, twenty five. All right, so let's go trade. Well, as you increase their level, their HP increases. Oh, I mean, like, when we trade it, like, what level do we Oh, no, we can just trade them as they, as they sit. So, just go into, come out and go into that, the other side of the trade area. All right, and then put all three of them in there. Put your, all three that you want to trade. All right. All right, and then once you have all three of them in, press the button that says Initiate Trade. Okay, now go over to the chest. Whoa. Do I collect the chicken in the dispenser? Uh, the dispenser should have killed, but you can take the chicken. I don't know why the dispenser uh, is in there, but yeah, you can take the Pokemon out. 
and now you can come out and then I will give you so you can drop those three on the ground oh we we traded all the same ones okay cool so yeah so now we each have you know three out of the four evolutions just like that Well, you, but, but then when you go out, it's going to be back down to 40. Oh, so, yeah, 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 yeah. remember I told you they don't save the levels. So, whatever. No. 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 They, because it, it would be, it'd be very difficult to, like I said, you're looking at, you're looking at 800 plus scoreboards by the time all generations are done. And then having, and then if they catch multiple Pokemon, then you know it, they trade them away. They're still gonna have that. So it's there, there's many things that it would make it more difficult by doing that because they could trade. You know, wind up trading a Dragonite that they have to somebody or whatever that was a level 100. Then I have to set up a system to reset their level if they trade it away. There, there, there's a lot of complications that come from that kind of stuff. So it's gonna take a while before I actually implement it. So wait until he's done with the speech, and he'll once his Pokemon's out, then you can summon yours. <laughs> I'm gonna win. Nobody can defeat me. How how many tame tools? Do, how many t tame tools do you have? I have a lot. Okay, let's go ahead and click it and summon it. Yeah, I'm gonna just do that actually. Okay, now tame it. Yeah, go ahead. You can you start. Shellfish. You got to use the first move. You, you can't use any of the charts. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. The first move I can't. Dang. Licky lick. Oh no, he's gonna beat me. I'm missing my licky. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I might have to tweak. <laughs> oh, no. All right, go after him. You, you might, you might want to level him up. Yeah, you can use level tens on him. Yeah. I can't use level one. You can use ones and tens, and then when he hits fifty, you could use twenty-five and fifty. So you could fear if you get him to level fifty, you could then use the twenty-five and put him to seventy-five, or use the fifty and put him to a hundred. All right, let's do that. Let's see who. Yeah. Good job. One down. Two more to go. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go visit the berry guy. I'm I'm, I'm going to go visit him. All right, he beat me. You can't do it. I need the potion. Potion. Now I remember it. Potion you, you just click it while not looking at him. Okay, yeah. And it and it heals a bit of its health, but like I said it uses up one of your turns, so Oh, okay. That's fine. I want yeah. I'm going to buy some Yeah, he's got three. I've been I've been debating if I want to add another one in or not. Come on, Barry guy, I need to talk to you. Come closer. Thank you. No. I didn't use all my potions. Okay, let's go. gonna lose. They can't gonna lose. Yeah. You can do it. Da, 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 da. You can do it. You can do it. What uh what level is he? Forty six? Seven? Forty eight. Um fifty. That should be enough. Rock blast. Yeah, I've got rock Pokemon now. <laughs> so when would I be able to use the other moves? Depending on their levels or what? Uh so the first charge move uh 
is at 15 power points. The second is at 20. So you might actually beat, yep. Nice. Do I not press the button? No, no, no. Don't press the button. It'll take you out on its own. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, the button is only if you lose. You just got to give it a little bit. And, yep, and there you go. Now it's my turn. Yeah. Let me go hit my Pokemon when you get your speech going with them. I think I'm just going to go in with a level 100 Gengar and just call it a day. <laughs> I don't want to use my uh, level 60 right off the bat. It's very not friendly. Yeah. Yep, yeah, you'll just click the nurse. I got stone bag for doing my building. I should have got the man. Okay. Oh, Gengar! Level 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100! Go, use the lick! I just used one lick so far. Licky lick, licky licky lick. Man, I should I should have done. I should have went in level one hundred Gengar. Yeah, but you know how how bad <laughs> like fifty shield armor. I I actually I've lost a few fights, but I'm okay with it. You know, I lost a fight against another person. Oh, if I lose that one of the gyms, yeah, that's gonna, that's gonna, that's gonna stink major butt, you know. <laughs> I, I'll just keep healing. Okay. Just, just let me die. You got two more level forty Pokemon. Oh. Ah. No. All right. Uh, Alakazam. Tame. Throw to 50. Throw to 60. Confusion! Conf Confucius says, you got clapped. <laughs> and now I got my badge. I got my badge. I got my badge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and just like that. So, I gotta ask you, at this point in time, Daycon, your overall experience and what you think of it so far, and from your initial experience when I showed you this, what was it, at least a year ago, your overall opinion from now, from then, till now, like, your over, like, what have you thought of this transition from when you initially did your video? It's turds. No. <laughs> no, I like it. It's got a lot better stuff, but you gotta keep in mind, since Minecraft is constantly updating, the only way that this is going to do is just get better. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's great now, but it just can keep getting way better. Yeah. It can get amazing. But I like it. It's really fun. I think we get could... with, uh, you know, playing with somebody. I think uh, playing by yourself would be all right, but definitely when you find it somebody, it's just way better. Yeah. So yeah, but I definitely recommend you getting your hands on the the surf HM as soon as you can because you riding across the ocean and stuff like that on the Lapras is just it's relaxing. Just you know, just bob it bobbing on the waves and stuff like that. Yeah, it's so let's actually head to the third city because I want to show you uh something that you might have a little fun with. So head to Strathmore. Uh, no, I think he went somewhere else. You might have gone to Edostead. Strathmore is the... F yeah, there you go. Yeah, okay. Fourth city. It's a farm city, for sure. Well, I mean, is it really considered a city, though? Yeah, there's a Pokestop, and you get your Pokemon there. So, here is the game corner. So, you get to go inside, and there are these slot machines. Gambling. I want to talk now, you'll talk to this guy here, and I'm going to buy ten coins. So you talk to him and buy some coins. How do you buy coins? What does it pay with? It pays with your Poke coins that you have. Okay. So it subtracts your Poke coins. So go up to it and click it and watch it actually spins. That's cool. So what does it get? Oh, is that green? Oh, that's too bad. No. 
Yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna work on changing the animation for the win and the lose for that. Right now it's just a singular one that plays, but I'm gonna alter it to where it'll go on red if you lose, it'll go on green if you win. So what do you win then? You yeah, you get yeah, you get more coins. And then the coins you can then exchange here in the back and then get Pokemon from the machines back here. Quest quest? Yeah, there's there's machines right back here that once you get enough coins, you can then trade them. You can get Pinsir, Scyther, Mr. Mime, Dratini, Eevee, and Porygon. Whoa. So, what happened? What happened? How did we get here? I went off of one of the games. Well, uh, you so, this guy right here, you... you so, this guy here, you'll talk to him and you can trade your coins up. So, you gotta progress them up to the you know the next stage is to be able to then come in and buy the Pokemon. So it'll take a little bit, but you know if you if you like to gamble, you know this will be the place for you. So what can you win? Um, like what's the win? You, like you can get one, two, five, ten. Yeah, you can one, two, five, ten, and fifteen. That'd be it. What do you mean? That? What do you mean that's it? I mean, I could have one, but I'd have to really alter the, the the rates on that. I mean, it wouldn't be that hard to do, but it's it's doable. But I mean, a hundred, yeah, that would be definitely that'd be a lot. <laughs> how much are the, how much how much were those Pokemon again? Uh, the cheapest one would take twelve gold coins, which would interpret. Uh, I'm trying to think about this here. So twelve gold coins, which is ten of those. A hundred, a hundred and, no, it, so it'd be a hundred and twenty, I think, uh, yeah, a hundred and twenty of these coins that are worth one to get the first one. And then, theoretically, three hundred and twenty to get the Porygon. It's kind of worth it, yeah. and then there's Mega, because it would probably be worth it for Dratini, if you can't find them. You can get Dratini with fishing, but it's got a really low rate. That's what I mean. This would probably and poor and that this is the only place you can get Porygon. This is the only spot where you can actually obtain Porygon. And Mr. Mime. Mr. Mime and Porygon are casino exclusive. Is Mr. Mime even good at these then? I mean he's he's not bad. I mean, they're all they all have their uses, you know. Some, you know. Will really help you in the fight. Other one are just cannon fodder, you know. So can I like put scan my or my thing? Let me can I put just scan my poke? Wait, how do you gain? How do you get Poke coins in this game? From trading your gold and iron nuggets. That's what I'm. Yeah. So all your iron and gold nuggets, when you stood on that cell pad, you sold all your nuggets that you had, and it turned it into. Uh, currency into Poke coins. Am I not buying no more Poke coins? No. Well, you uh, the, uh, you convert. So every time you get Iron Nuggets and Gold Nuggets, you can stand on a cell pad and it turns into Poke coins, and then you could buy more Casino coins. Well, I mean, like the yeah. How do I buy these Casino coins? Do I keep them right back here? This is a coin. This is a coin exchanger guy. So you get the coins from him, and then you can exchange them with the ones in the back. So you can buy enough. So it, as it says there, one hundred Poke coins for one, or a thousand Poke coins for ten. So theoretically, you could buy. You could maybe buy enough, probably. That's what I was actually trying to do, but he wouldn't give me any. Now he's giving me some. Yeah. So it would take. Yeah, so like I said, the tower is definitely the. Oh, he stopped. He's the oh, that's what it is. Okay, I was like, wait a minute, I'm getting cheated. Oh, I guess it's probably worth it then. I just stopped it. Oh, I only have one poker coin. Yeah. Oh, I feel 
it'll take a little bit. So, like I said, it's to get those, uh, because the rates are based off of the game, like the the actual games, like what it what the the costs were, are actually less. Because in the in the games, it was like sixty four hundred casino coins for like the Pokemon. So I I cut them in half. Pokecoins are used initially to buy the plot. They are for the game corner. Um, they are for the Safari Zone. Yeah, Safari Zone. Yeah, that's where you'll find exclusive Pokemon in there. Um, yeah, those are really the main things is to initially buy your plot, uh, the game corner, and the Safari Zone. And I may, like, I'm, I've been considering allowing, maybe creating uh, ex plot expansions that people can purchase for, like, a set amount of money. And, like, I'll expand their plot, like, X amount of blocks, you know, in a certain direction. You know, so they have more space to build. I mean, if you're, if you're, if you're going for... Yeah. So, I mean, like I said, if you're going for a living dex, which I've seen people do, there's actually been a couple people that have gone for living dexes, um, then that's, you're, you're, you'd have to do that. But other than that, a lot of the others can be found in the wild. So if I used a ton casino coin on the slot, would that be a higher percent of me earning something? I haven't added that yet. I probably will. Um, that'll probably be, I'll probably add the incrementals for them and allow for this stuff, but the pay rates aren't going to be, like, astronomically high. Uh, if you yeah. earn 100 coin, you know, you would expect to get at least a thousand out of it or something. Yeah, like, I think, like, I'd max it out at, like, 10, like, you can get a total of 10, like, you bet one, the maximum would be 10 that you can get. So, the way, when you come down here, there's a couple of different things you could do. This route right here will specifically take you to the seventh city. And that's where I say the Lapras is going to come in handy um, because it'll expedite your travel. Then you got a lighthouse. Um, and then you got a boat that you can just go on and explore. You know, you just look around and just have some fun. There is an area here. It's actually a little bit of a little hidden. See, now I just got the notification that my incense wore off. So you should probably you should probably be getting yours very soon as well. So we come in here. Yeah, I'm just gonna. Actually, no. Wait, is it that one? No, not that one. All right, come, come on, come back out. I'm, I'm, it's the wrong house. So some people may have found this already. Some people have may not. And for those of you watching, you're gonna know this now. So we come in here, okay? Pokemon. Pokemon. Sorry. Yeah, come out and look what it did. Ooh, Pokemon. What's down here? Now, Legendary Mewtwo. this area will lead you to Mewtwo once everything's all said and done. Oh, no. You will have to traverse your way through here. And through the the area belonging with this, you don't go too far, Daycon, because it's not fully ready yet. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I want a Mewtwo though. You can't get them yet. Nobody can get them yet. Same as Mew. Mew. Is there anything in here that I can catch? Uh, Pokemon like Muck and them will spawn gradually over time. Because oh, this, this is this is. Yeah, because this is in a, a normal natural spawn area. They will like a step spawn area. They will only spawn via natural generation. Man, man. All right, well, so let's go back to the city. Deuces. I'm gonna go back to spawn. So, how do you go to the bus if you're used to it with the map, right? Yeah. So you keep cycling through until you see the yellow arrow. Well, 
I think we did. I think we did pretty good. You know, we got the first gym done. We got to level ten, beat the first gym. We both got, you know, three very good Pokemon right off the bat. So I'd say we did pretty good for our first episode. I think we say, you know, we could do some off screen, the off screen grind as far as the levels, or we could do them on screen. That's completely up to you. Uh, I think doing, because especially when it gets into the higher levels, the grinding's definitely going to become a lot more tedious. So I think doing them off screen would definitely be uh, pref the preferable option. Um, but being that we're low rank, being that we're low enough, it really shouldn't take too long to grind it up. But I mean, we, we can sort out all those details later on down the road, see how this does, see what kind of ratings and stuff we get, and we can go from there. Yeah, so if you guys enjoy this and want to see me, on da me and Dacon go at this a lot more than what we have and continue duking it out, see who ultimately will become the Pokemon champion and the best in the game, keep following both our channels. He'll be posting, I'll be posting, um, and just, you know, come join us on the server. Uh, join my Discord. Links will be in the description if you want to follow Dacon. His links to his Discord and his uh, YouTube will be in the description below as well. Uh, Dacon, you got anything you want to say? Well, I think I think he summed it up, you know, how scared he is. He just goes, ah, he's, he's afraid of what's going to happen, so... I think that'll be it for today's episode. Dacon, it's been a pleasure. Can't wait to see you in the next video. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace. Bye!